Once upon a time, there was a homeless man who would spend his whole day gathering food. However, he kept noticing every day that his food would disappear. One day, he caught the mouse that kept stealing his food and he asked the mouse, Why are you stealing from me? I am a homeless man. You can steal from richer people and it won't affect them. The mouse then told the homeless man, It is in your destiny that you can only have eight items in your possession. No matter how much you beg, no matter how much you gather, because that is all that you will ever have. The homeless man was shocked to hear this and said, But why is that my destiny? And the mouse said, Well, I don't know. You should try and ask the Buddha. So the homeless man goes on a journey to find the Buddha. As he goes on walking, it becomes very dark and the man ends up at a wealthy family's house. He asks the owner if he can stay the night. They let him in and ask him, Young man, why are you traveling so late? And he answers, I have a question for the Buddha and tomorrow I'll be on my way. The family then says, Can we give a question to you to ask the Buddha also? We have a 16-year-old daughter who cannot speak. We just want to ask, what do we have to do to have her speak? So the homeless man thanks them for the shelter and tells them, of course, I'll ask the question for you. The next morning, he continues on his journey and sees a sea of mountains that he has to cross. He climbs up one mountain and he meets a wizard. The wizard decides to use his staff to fly them across the sea of mountain. And the wizard asks the young man, Why are you deciding to cross these mountains? The young man says, I am going to ask the Buddha a question about my destiny. The wizard then says, Can I please give you a question to ask the Buddha also? I have been trying to go to heaven for a thousand years. Can you please ask the Buddha, what do I have to do to get to heaven? Of course, I'll ask your question for you, said the homeless man. As he continued on his journey, he ran into his last obstacle, which was a river that he could not cross. Luckily, he met a giant turtle who decided to take them across the river. As they were crossing, the turtle asked, Where are you going? I'm going to see the Buddha. I'm going to ask him a question about my destiny. The turtle says, Would you please ask a question for me? I have been trying to become a dragon for 500 years. Can you please ask the Buddha, What do I have to do to become a dragon? The young man thanks the turtle for taking him across the river and says, Of course, I'll ask your question for you. The homeless man finally meets the Buddha and the Buddha tells everybody, Today, I will answer three questions for everybody here, but only three questions. The young man is shocked. He has four questions, so he thinks carefully. He thinks about the turtle who has been living for 500 years trying to become a dragon. He thinks about the wizard living for 1000 years trying to get to heaven. And then he thinks of the young girl who is going to have to live her whole life without being able to speak. And then, as he looked at everybody else's problems, his problem suddenly seemed so small. He felt sorry for the turtle, the wizard and the young girl and he decides to ask all of their questions. The Buddha then answers, The turtle is unwilling to leave the shell. As long as he is unwilling to leave the comforts of his shell, he will never become a dragon. The wizard always carries his staff and never puts it down. It acts as an anchor keeping him away from heaven. And as for the girl, she will be able to speak when she meets her soulmate. So the homeless man bows to the Buddha and starts on his journey back home. He reunites with the turtle and he tells the turtle, you just have to take off your shell and you can become a dragon. The turtle takes off a shell and inside the shell were priceless pearls he found in the deepest parts of the ocean. He gives all of this to the homeless man and says, I 
no longer need this because now I'm a dragon. And he flies away. The homeless man reunites with the wizard on the top of a mountain and says, Hey, you just have to put down your stuff and you will be able to go to heaven. The wizard immediately gives his staff to the young man and says, Thank you, and then ascends to the heaven. The young man now has wealth for the turtle and power from the wizard. He goes back to the family that gave him shelter and he tells them. The Buddha says, Your daughter will be able to speak when she meets her soulmate. Just at that moment, the daughter comes down and says, Is that the man that was here last week? The young girl and the homeless man had found each other as their soulmates. And the homeless man suddenly realized that one selfless thought for others had changed his entire destiny and bestowed upon him everything that he could wish in his life. If you're willing to lend a hand to those who are struggling more than you, it may change the course of your life, your destiny. The universe will repay you in such a way that you would have never imagined. All the good that you do in this world will come back to you. It will certainly come back to you. Thanks for watching. And if you find inspiration in wise words and stories, Please subscribe to my channel for more and stay simply wise.